The Peace Dollar Series, the last 90% silver dollar struck for circulation by the Mint. They kill gold in 34, they break out silver dollars in 35, and the rest is history, right? Three quarters of a century without either of those, per se, definitely not in circulation. Well, tonight, we have a very special opportunity on a very special coin in the Peace Dollar Series. I love it. The numbers are perfect for those of you that are like Alice and I, that follow the mintages, populations, and the relationships, because this one is, uh, it's the reason why I have this. It's a brain tease. Tonight, the 1935S is the deal. The 1935S is beyond the deal. It is what we would call our super slider, which is an about uncirculated coin. Now, I'm going to explain to you what we mean by super slider slash about uncirculated. So coins are graded on what they call the Sheldon scale. They're graded between 0 to 70, 70 being theoretically perfect. Now, 0 to 59 is circulated, normally around 12 up to 20. AU is anywhere between 53 and 55. Uncirculated starts at 60, and then it goes up to the perfect 70. These are super sliders which fit into the 53 to 55 range. But what we also look at is how the circs and uncirculated pieces are priced, and that's where the story really gets fun. Well, exactly, because when you look at it, the grading scale, the closer you get to 60, the better looking coin you get, and like these are, they slide by as an uncirculated coin. You look at them. This is a gorgeous looking, high, high, high grade circulated coin. About uncirculated is the grade, technical 53 to 55. We call them super sliders because when I talk fast, about uncirculated, is it an about uncirculated coin or the grade about uncirculated as a coin? And we don't want any confusion. The numbers speak for themselves, the dollars speak for themselves, and tonight this deal, wow, does it stand for itself. You look at the mintage, 1935, the last year of issue for the peace dollar. They made a P and an S. The mintage figures are tiny at only 1.9 million, but when you start breaking down the next level of information, Again, this is three quarters of a century ago, which means we have 35 years of NGC, PCGS, et cetera, telling us, reporting to us every day how many, or in this case, how few of these coins they're seeing. And it is outright staggeringly low. Now the 1928P, and the 1927p and the 1921, usually those are the ones that stand out when we say, oh, what are the most Well, of all the peace, peace dollars, dollars right? the rarest, the second rarest, and the 21 high relief is the one everybody covets the first year of issue. Right. Even the 27d is low at 4,176. The 35s is actually number two behind 1927d. There's only 4,297 of these 35s's. All, all grades, grades all, all grades. grades, yep. All seen all together. Now, competition, let's go back to the, the comparisons of retail pricing on what you're gonna pay for a circ versus an uncirculated coin. The Fs which are is gonna a, pay- Which is a 20 on the scale. Which is a 20, a circulated yep. coin, and cost you about $149. Keep in mind, here we are at a coin that is close to uncirculated. Uncirculated will cost you about $920. So we're priced closer to circulated, but the condition is closer to uncirculated. Whenever we can find the spread in our favor as collectors, that's where we're always going to pounce. It's where we're going to spend a lot of time and effort. Unfortunate thing is, though, it, I mean, we found what? Two of these at the last show, which was the fun show in Florida. Before that, I think we found one. And some shows we find none that fit the category. We find lots of circulated coins, and I love this last year of issue in circulated condition. But again, the issue is uncirculated. We all want to attain that beautiful uncirculated coin. But the price point of give or take $1,000 is sometimes prohibitive for a lot. So if an AU53 at 179 is closer in price to a VF20, which is a circulated coin versus an uncirculated coin, a mint state 60 at a grand. It just means if this was like 700 bucks, kind of makes sense, right? But it's not. This one is at 179.95. The numbers are in our favor as collectors. The slider, the about uncirculated, the AU 53 to 55, fits right on top of the coin and the price as a value. Again, circulated at 149. AU at 179 and Minstate at 1,000? 
What's wrong with this picture? The scale is 20, 53, 60. The prices are heavily to the left, right on the scale, but the quality is way to the right. And that is, so if, you, if they're in the middle or close, everything balances, then you buy what you can afford. You think it would land right in the middle. For this one doesn't land in the right place. It lands to our advantage. Right. And that's, guess what? That's what we spend all of our coin geek time on paying attention to. <laughs> Looking at those changes in population reports. Looking at last year's reports versus this year's reports. And what do you see as a change? And on this coin, a couple of coins. Not many that's coins all that's at been all. submitted in the last year to the largest certification service on the planet, NGC. Only a couple of coins changed from last year to this year on this coin alone. So you don't really see 35S as a lot. Well, it's a hoarded or a collected coin, the last of its kind. It is the end of an era for silver dollars in America, period. And then remember, we all forget, the Pittman Act was involved with the Morgan Dollar Series. 1918, we destroyed 60% of all Morgans. Well, the Peace Dollar, they were made after that. But we forget the Manhattan Project, which is the nuclear bomb in World War II, melted millions upon millions of Peace Dollars. What was the last one made? 35P and 35S. Then you have the 34 PDS. Then you have to go back to 28, right? Because they didn't make coins in between there. So why do we not find any of these coins with large populations? Because uh, they melted them all. That's just the nature of the beast. But I think the most important statement you made, and then we'll bring it home, is the fact that if you stack all of these up by mintage figure, this one does pretty well with only 1.9, and it's the last year of issue. But when you compare it to population, the 1928 the P is the rarest of all low mintage. 27P is right behind it followed by the 27D, right? 27S, high relief 21. So you would think that the flow would be very similar. This one pushes the top 10. It goes from a top 10 coin to being number two in rarity because you don't find it out there at all. There's only 4176 of the rarest, which is the 27D population report wise, and this one is 4297, only 100 coins off. Now, look at the price. Special, that 27D also special. They're both great coins. For one the minute price. clock up, guys, please. The last 90% silver dollar issued for circulation by the US Mint, the 1935 Peace Dollar of the San Francisco, the old granite lady, AKA San Francisco Mint, San Francisco is always known as the finest known strikes, and that is proven evident right here with this piece. 179.95, the 1935 S. It's a super slider, which means it is priced closer to a circulated coin, but the quality is way closer to uncirculated. Uncirculated coins selling for upwards of $920. And circulated coins, hey, they're closer to this price, but the quality is stunningly different. Again, it's all about where the scale slides. Price-wise, unks high, circulated, affordable. So an, uh, about uncirculated, we call a super slider, should be where? Closer to unk. This coin, like the 27D and a couple of the others, there's three or four of them right now, it does not balance. So that means time to buy. So not at, like you get, for 149, you get a VF20. For 179, you get an AU53 to a 55. Not much of a question other than we're almost out. If you're visiting via abccoins.com, push it through your shopping cart. This one is almost gone. Thank you all. You're going to love this coin.